Today is the, <clears throat> excuse me, the 14th of August. These are my toothache plants. They look pretty good, actually. Um, it's almost 9 a.m. and it's 83 degrees already. I just wanted to kind of show. I still have a, a couple. Probably need to cut back the salvia. That's an Augustaki on that side, and then I've got my big mum, orange mum, in the center. So yeah, my my boxwoods did not make it. I've got a few that have a little bit of green still on them, but I don't know if the root part's still alive but they're definitely not doing well. All these leaves here are from my crepe myrtle. This mum didn't make it, and that one might not either. I don't know. It might be too hot over here, or my husband said it could be that it's too shallow of a way for them to established roots they were big plants I've had some infestation on my elephant ears so I'm trying to wipe down the leaves a little bit another one forming this Petunia is still alive, but just barely. That's still pretty. I like that plant. This is a pretty um, palm. My Italian cypress are still doing okay. The center one doesn't look too good. I need to prop it up differently. Um, we had a blowout in this hose, so we had to replace it, and we put in a, a drip hose, because that's all we had at the time. Um, the hose that we got has flaws in it. There's just no doubt about it, because we've had uh, blowouts of the hose all summer long. There's my purple fountain grass. It's pretty. Pomegranates, we tried to stake up a little bit. So we got a shepherd's hook in there that's cut at an angle, trying to hold up all that weight. It's heavy. I'm taking these pots out. I'm going to move this Russian sage over into one of the Vigo beds. I'm going to move that purple antenna. There's nothing in here to move. And I'm going to make this uh, clear walkway. These, I've decided, this is just kind of a planning thing, that these cannas, I think it's phosphorus that causes the brown tips on the leaves and stuff. And I am not good at maintaining these real well. I mean, I've had them come back from you know, after I fed them with some phosphorus. But I don't like having to stay on top of deadheading them. And because they're double blooms, a lot of times one of them's dead, but the other one's just starting, and it's hard to cut the dead bloom out of the one that's blooming. So I probably am going to scrap these. I want to put maybe purple fountain grass in because it'll it won't be messy 
because the grass is not and it maintains its look. I don't have to do anything to it and it's pretty. It's green and that's what I'm going for. So, my, I should talk about the weather, I suppose, because I like to keep track of that. This week, it's going to be between 102 and 106 all week. The lows are going to be in the mid-70s. Um, what can I say? I think as the 10 day forecast towards the end of the 10 days it's going to start getting down to like 101 100 and 75 maybe a little less than that for the most of the lows are going to be 78 and stuff so i haven't planted anything in here but there's a purslane that's doing some cover for me so i'll take it the snapdragons are looking kind of sad. This pepper's coming along. This ancho pepper. In fact, both peppers are not doing too bad. I've got some plants in the house that I'm probably going to... This is That's a eggplant down there that I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to take this apart, fill it, because... Oh, because it's starting to um, settle. And then I'll um, plant some things in here that might do okay this fall. I still got my rose, sunrise rose lantana alive over here, but just barely. These are moss roses that I propagated and I could probably plant. My petunias over there died. This is what's kind of exciting is I've got this. Um, these are How come I can't think of the name of those? Uh, lily, day lilies. That's doing okay. I was going to move this, and I still might. Um, I think it's a melon plant, and I don't really want it in this bed because it interferes with other stuff. I think that's why I lost some things. I have a cinnamon basil growing in there. Uh, let's see. Oh, I haven't looked at this in a while, but yesterday or the day before, I started training my jasmine better. And you can see it's the one on the left has gone all the way across, and the one on the right's up to the um, the top ring. And it was a little. And I did water these, and I probably need to stay more on top of these. This is an Augustaki. I think it's got, I don't know if you get any blooms on this the first, yeah, I guess you do, because there are some. They're a delicate bloom. You can make tea out of this. That, that's not good. I got a weed in here. And I've got my cypress vine. So, um, those pots there with the cannas that didn't do well this year, I'm pulling all that out and I'm going to put the Sunrise Rose Lantennas in there. But I'm kind of waiting until maybe later in the month just because of the, the temperatures. I want to give them the best chance I can. Although they're sitting on the patio and that ain't great. Um, these boxwoods are doing okay. Of course, they were my extras from out front, and they are not enough to replace what's happened out there. So, I will be, 
considering what I'm going to put out there. I don't know yet. I tried to clean this bed up a little bit. It's so full of roots because of the trees. They've all, you know, congregated into that bed. So I'm trying to think of what I want to do. I'd almost like to put a shallow uh, raised bed on top of the area because I know I'd get better results. I only need six inches, but the, the roots don't give me that. Um, this is starting to bloom. That's a Cape Honeysuckle. My Angelonia, I pinched the dead off of that, so hopefully it might come back. And then this one's starting to bloom pretty good. These go through, like right now they don't look, well, it doesn't look great, but they look worse in the afternoon. They don't. They just wilt down to nothing, so. I still haven't found anything that I want to put in these that are worthy of, of being in this spot. I'm thinking about getting this bed ready to go. Those waved petunias look pretty good. Um, I've had some stuff die out of here. I am in the mood for a bunch of pansies, so I'm probably going to be planting them, my pansies from seed and getting them ready to stick in the garden in the in all of these empty areas. The Swiss chard looks pretty back there. I just harvested this morning, so all of these had tons of red peppers on them and now they're well i still have one back in there i see i forgot right there a fresno even i gotta grab it same with the tomatoes we've had worms i think we found a huge worm late this last week um i'm debating about pulling all this stuff out. I am kind of tired of cherry tomatoes. I like these tomatoes, but they're withering, so I don't know. And then I planted that money maker back there. Money maker's not working for me. It's back there in the center of this bed. And I would have thought it would have been perking up but it actually looks pretty sad so I don't know the moss roses are coming alive and the bees are in them but we have more than one um, hornworm and we've only found like there's evidence on the sidewalk of a hornworm here and I have been searching and searching for it. I see the damage and I have not found the worm yet. I did find one uh, on one of the other areas where I saw damage. But like there's probably one right somewhere in here because there's damage right there. So I have no clue where that worm is. Maybe I'll see it when I watch the video. They don't move too fast. It's just crazy how my my eyes adjust to them and then I can find them all. And then other times I, I could be right with my nose on them practically and I can't see them. So anyway, um, my eggplants are forming nicely. These are black beauties. Uh, I certainly don't need this many black beauties because there's like a ton of them growing now. But I will take them 
there's going to be a bunch. I think I'm going to pull out what's in between these two and then I'm going to move this eggplant back over a little bit and just have eggplants in this bed. Um, not much to say about this bed. Still fighting aphids on those noodle beans, but I did harvest quite a few this morning. Um, there's eggplants in here, but they're the long, skinny kind, so those are a lot easier to uh, handle than the ones that get big, like these black beauties, because uh, they're a meal in themselves, so like you can cut up probably four eggplants and saute them and, and it's a nice side dish but um, when you have just one big black beauty <laughs> it's like it should also be the entire meal so it's hard there's my angelonia here it's really looking pretty in this pot I did find the worm that was on this made a plant so I got it and then my husband's been working at cleaning up this this is one zucchini it's got right there is its stem but it just goes out in all different directions so he's kind of been training it to stay away from my tomatoes and he's been trying to keep the dead out of it and the bugs off of it so I still haven't identified anything over on that plant, so I couldn't tell you what's there. My um, holy basil is going to seed. I think that's holy basil. It's not cinnamon basil. It's a regular basil, whatever that is. It's pretty. That's basil that just came up voluntarily. And I think I'll pull out, I don't know what happened here, but I think I will pull out this stuff, these marigolds that are in here. I don't even know what to say about the bed over here. My okra has aphids on it really bad, see? So I'm probably going to get rid of these because I don't want aphids around here and they're really thick on this bean plant too because I picked one bean off of here and it was covered in ants I hate that this little guy's kind of going nuts cypress vine again we're Oh, and this is the cypress vine right there, so that tells you how woody it gets. Anyway, it's a wild garden right now, but I like it. It's kind of fun. There's a bean plant here that's going up over the trellis, but I have not seen any beans on it, and it's not my scarlet. My scarlet runner bean didn't make it, so it must not like our climate. Although I should try it at this time of year. Got lots I want to do when I look around the garden. I have lots of things that I want to do. But I'm just going to wait for the weather to change. That's my garden diary. Today is August 6th, and this is what we got out of the garden. There's actually some tomatoes out there, but I will probably pick them tomorrow. But this is our zucchini. I have to figure out which kind it is. I think it's a gray stripe or something. I can't remember the name of it. And then a noodle bean. Today is the 7th of August, and this is what we got out of the garden. Some cherry tomatoes, and some 4th of July tomatoes, and a couple of Moscoviches too. 
today is the 14th of August and this is what I got out of the garden. Quite a few pepperoncinis, some salsa peppers I think is what these are. This is a little mini bell. I will never grow mini bell again there. They're too mini. Um, or I need to at least put them in a pot by themselves and maybe they would get bigger fruit. This is a a little bit bigger mini bell and it's still too tiny anyway here's a bunch of fresnos i have serranos i have fourth of july peppers and moscow i mean tomatoes moscovich and fourth of july tomatoes and then i have some chadwick cherries and then i have some chinese noodle beans and I actually have okra, but I didn't pick it because it's covered in aphids, so I will, I don't know, I'm not really in the mood for okra anymore, so I just may pull the plants.